Hi there folks and welcome to another Shifty Mover video and uh, welcome back to getting started in uh, Nort Roof 112 Emergency Call 112 the Firefighting Simulation 2 and we're going to continue looking at the vehicles this time we're looking at the uh, the smaller two-man engine and as you can see we're just driving into the uh, the yard lights on sirens on and we're going to pull up and stop we're going to leave the engine running this time because we want to use the pumps. Okay, because we're here in the sandbox, and it is, this works in the normal game as well, there is no live water connections we can use to the ground unless there's a mission active. So I'm just going to run through the basics of the vehicle and how to use it and where stuff, the most normal stuff is. And uh, uh, unfortunately we can't actually plug into the ground water at the moment. There is a dummy uh, standby pit which doesn't actually work. But we'll run through setting stuff up. So this truck, it's a two-man truck, has a water cannon on the front and has a, um, a couple of firefighting uh, the techniques that you can use. Um, there are more. I'm just going to cover the basics that you're going to probably use. So I'm just going to open up the sides and get everything ready because this would happen when you turn up at the fire, the fire. So we're just going to open up all the sides, drop the little stand platforms around the side as well. Now this takes a little bit longer with this wagon because you're again, you're only a two-man engine. Uh, with the uh, six-man engine, obviously there's six people in it, the, it sets up much quicker. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, right, okay. Just let me finish opening everything up and then I'll show you where the basics of stuff up and how to get it up and running. So you've just turned up the fire, you've just set everything up ready to go. So what uh, normally is going to happen is you're going to need to pull out this drawer here. This has your breathing apparatus when you're tackling a fire. Bear in mind sometimes you won't need to tackle a fire with this engine, you'll turn up at some things that you can you do not tackling a fire. But uh, your breathing apparatus is here at the front. Right, what you normally need to do when you first get to a, uh, a situation is locate the, sta uh, the ground water supply. The, the wagon has a small tank and you can start fighting fires straight away. However, it will run out of water and you can't go back to the station if it's empty or even partially used. It needs to be full. Okay, so uh, you can use it straight away by coming around to the back and pressing the E on the pump here at the back. And then selecting pump on here by pressing the left mouse button. And then turning the pressure up. Okay, so that's the pump up and running. Normally it's a two-man operation, so there's a guy um, uh, uh, manning the pump, and then you grab the fire hose. So we can grab the quick rapid attack attachment here, and we can go out and fight a fire straight away, instantly when we get here. Press the left mouse button to shoot water in a jet. Press the right mouse button to shoot water in a cone. Use the cone for interiors, and use the uh, jet, obviously, if you need a bit of range. So that is, if you need to tackle a fire very, very quickly, um, you can just grab the rapid attachment, a ra rapid attack hose at the side, turn the pump on and go. However, uh, bear in mind you will run out of water, so we do need to set up a stand pipe. So on this side, on the opposite side, we have a, a tool called the underfloor hydrant spanner. You'll need this to open the lid and to turn the water on. So normally you'll run, find your your underwater supply, your, your, your ground supply here. Uh, you'll open up the lid. This isn't what it looks like. It's a little small oval one. Unfortunately, there are none here. Uh, so I'm just going to pretend that this is one. Um, it will point it out when you get to the mission where it is. So you take this tool, open it up, place this to the side, uh, grab the hydrant, attach the hydrant to it. Uh, bear in mind that this, the, there would be two of you doing this. The AI will be doing other jobs, so it's a little quicker. But it still does feel very, very slow when you're setting it up. So then you'd attach this to the, uh, the hydrant attachment point, And then you'd grab a, uh, a B-type hose. And we'll use a B-type hose for this connection. Place this down between you and the uh, hydrant, the engine and the hydrant. Uh, unfurl this. And we also need to grab the attachment to attach it to the vehicle, which is on the opposite side. So we pull this drawer out, and it's called the collecting head. You'll need this. And this attaches to the back of the wagon below the pump here. And then you attach one end of the pi uh, hose to the collecting head, one end to the hydrant, and turn the hydrant on by using the tool in the hole next to where the standpipe is. Unfortunately, we can't do that here in the sandbox in the training area. 
I'm hoping they'll change this and then we attach this to the hydrant it might not work because it's oh it does work because even though it's not plugged in so then you uh, this would be plugged into the ground you then use this and plug this into the ground because this is the on off switch for the water so now water would be if you were in a mission coming into the wagon and uh, the pump would be refilling the tank in the wagon so we could continue using the hose and it would not never run out okay so that's the quick attachment uh, quick at attack attachment um, I think that's what it's called isn't it I can't, I'm, I'm terrible with the names rapid attack attachment hose okay um, there's another another method you can do um, you need to set up a distributor between you and the fire the wagon and the fire you need another B type hose And the beauty of this is, you can attach a couple of hoses to this, and you can also run a pipe to another wagon. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I meant to press E. Let me just attach this all up. So this one end goes to the distributor, and one end goes to the wagon. So water out there. So now you could attach, use this with a with a C-type hose to attach to the ladder truck, so the ladder truck can fight water, fight fires from the basket. Um, you could also use this to to run another hose off, so you can have two hoses going off this into the fire, um, fighting the fire. So we're going to grab a, a C-type hose, the yellow one, put that down between the distributor and the fire. Unfurl this. attach this and then grab another nozzle a hollow jet nozzle there are various nozzles on the wagon however the main one you're going to use is this uh, hollow hollow jet nozzle um, there are uh, other types as a high pressure one um, a lance one and uh, various other things but I haven't run into any missions yet that require me to use other types of nozzles there's also one to be used with foam and I haven't had to use that yet. So this is a hollow jet nozzle, very similar to the rapid attack uh, attachment, and we can shoot water from this as a jet or as a cone. It just allows you to run with two hoses from this wagon, two attacks from this wagon, or attach another wagon. So that's how you set that up. Okay, the water cannon again. Preferably have a, a, a attachment to a standpipe, and you know, to use the water cannon, we need to deploy the ladder and climb up on top of the truck. Obviously, uh, you need to be facing fairly close to where the fire is and facing within 90 degrees angle to it. So the the water cannon can only turn from the three o'clock position around to the nine o'clock position, and we press E to activate uh, using the fire cannon. And then we use the uh, W, S, A and D keys to lift it up and down, spin it round and round and you use the arrow keys uh, you know, just the W, A, S and D keys, no arrow keys with this and we can aim the cannon left and right okay, to increase the pressure to shoot water out, we press the left mouse button and then the right mouse button to turn it back down so, left mouse button is on and increase the power right mouse button is turn the pressure down and eventually off I'm not going to use the cannon very much because I will drain the wagon very very quickly with this cannon um, and because we're not actually plugged into the ground so don't use this cannon unless you're plugged into the ground but that's the operation of the water cannon and uh, you'll find various tools spread all over the wagons um, the, I will let you guys find those as and when you require them but you've got some hidden here on the top which you will need, you will need this pitchfork at times so bear in mind where this is you'll also need um, the cones because sometimes this truck goes out on its own so you'll need the traffic cones to block off a road so you'll have to run around and find there's so many tools on this wagon uh, there's the cones there, you've got two types of cones, you've got the nighttime long distance beacons and you've got the normal traffic cones, I, I actually prefer the look of these so if, if I'm deploying the cones I'll take these ones out because they look really pretty especially at night. So look down, deploy, and again we just got the flashy lights instead. 
Again, this wagon has lots and lots of tools all over the place and you'll need to hunt round to find them, open various drawers to get access to some of them. And uh, yeah, uh, the mission will tell you what you require when you need it most of the time. So, But I like to sometimes just do the missions, you see, without using the uh, the, uh, the AI and tool tips to try and find everything. Sometimes I like to just go in ahead and tackle it. There's a generator on board. So that is the foam, uh, medium expansion foam tube. Uh, I believe it doesn't have any use currently in the mission. Um, uh, this is this this attachment here, so you can uh, collect water uh, using the engine's pumps from a nearby river if there's no ground available. Um, there's some really really cool stuff on this, um, but that's the basics of the two-man small fire truck. And as you can see, it's uh, quite a lot to remember. Anyway, like I said, the next video we'll look at the larger truck, and then a separate video for the fire truck, uh, the the ladder truck, and uh, yeah. Hope you found that useful. Uh, interesting and thanks for joining me. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.